good day to all our dear televiewers and subscribers. I am Menard F. Miguel from Cabanatuan City Senior High School and I am your teacher presenter for Telaturuan. Today, we'll focus on functional relationships of organ systems in ensuring animal survival. After the lesson, you are expected to analyze and appreciate the functional relationships of different organ systems in ensuring animal survival. Last time, we became familiar with many of the organ systems that comprise the body of advanced animals such as circulatory, nervous, and so on. Most organs have functions in only one organ system, such as digestive system, which are collections of organs that perform a major function for the organism. Each organ system typically performs a given function set with different characteristics. With that, let us proceed to our lesson proper. Our lesson for today is all about functional relationships of organ systems. But what are the functional relationships of different organ systems in ensuring animal survival? First is the processing and transport of nutrients. In humans, food is the main source of energy. It enters the body through the digestive system, which breaks it down into nutrients. The muscular system helps moving the food to different organs of the digestive system. For example, muscles around the stomach contract and move food to the small intestine. When the food is broken down into nutrients, these nutrients are transported to different organs and tissues through the circulatory system. Nutrients from small intestine enter the blood vessels and are then transported by the blood throughout the body. Second is the transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Oxygen enters the body through the respiratory system. This system together with circulatory system delivers oxygen to every cell in the body. As you inhale, the oxygen goes directly into the lungs, specifically in the alveoli, where there are capillaries that serve as sites of gas exchange. The capillaries connect to larger blood vessels that transport oxygen to the rest of the body. Third is the removal of waste. Food is processed by the digestive system. After nutrients are absorbed through digestion, the excretory system removes waste products in the form of urine and feces. The organs of excretory system are also parts of other organ systems. For example, skin. It is a part of integumentary system. It is also part of excretory system because it removes liquid waste in the form of sweat. Similarly, the lungs are part of respiratory system. They remove carbon dioxide from the body, so they are also part of excretory system. And lastly, we have the maintenance of homeostasis. The nervous system serves as the control center for maintaining homeostasis in the body. Homeostasis is the property of a system in which an internal factor such as body temperature is regulated to maintain a stable condition despite changes in external conditions. If there are disruptions of the internal factor, the nervous system sends out signals to other systems to correct the disruption. For instance, it sends signals to the endocrine system, which secretes hormones to regulate body functions. These hormones are delivered to the target organs through the circulatory system. It's like domino effect or chain reaction. 
each organ system must be connected in order to transport and process nutrients, deliver oxygen and carbon dioxide, remove waste, and maintain a stable condition despite changes in external environment. And in order for the different organ systems to work together and maintain survival of an organism. With that, thank you very much. I hope you had a meaningful and fun learning experience with me. Again, this is Menard F. Miguel, a teacher from Cabinet One City Senior High School. Till our next episode, goodbye!